हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सुनील सर एंड बैक विथ वीडियो दोस्तों आज के इस वीडियो में हम सीखेंगे वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट कैन कम इन योर एग्जाम सो वी से इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरीथिंग दैट कैन कम इन योर एग्जाम विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ दिस हार्ट एंड यू कैन स्कोर योर फुल मार्क्स सो फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट सबसे पहला पॉइंट आपको यह याद रखना है कि ह्यूमन हार्ट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर चेंबर्स इट एज टू चेंबर अपर टू चेंबर इज कॉल्ड एज ऑरिकल और इवन इट इज कॉल्ड एज एट्रिया वेर एज द लोअर टू चेंबर्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज वेंट्रिकल्स सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज योर हार्ट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू हाफ सो वन यू कैन कॉल इट एज द राइट साइड and other one you call it as the left side most important point is the right side of the heart will always receive deoxygenated blood and the left side of the heart will always receive oxygenated blood so let's do the labeling this is the one that will bring the deoxygenated blood from upper part of the body towards the heart it is called as superior vena cava it is called as superior vena cava this will bring the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body to the heart it is called as inferior vena cava so we have two vena cava superior vena cava and inferior vena cava this is called as right atria the right side of the heart so it is called as right atria even you call it as right auricle this is called as right ventricle the one that receives the deoxygenated blood from the right atria this is called as left atria or even it is called as left auricle this is called as left ventricle most important point is that the right side receives the deoxygenated blood from three openings so this is the first opening superior vena cava this is the second opening of inferior vena cava and this third one is most important one that is called as coronary sinus so from the coronary sinus the deoxygenated blood comes so from where the coronary sinus brings the blood it is from the heart so coronary sinus brings the deoxygenated blood from the heart now on the right side of the heart you see a valve here now this is the most important valve that is called as tricuspid valve so you call it as what tv what is called as tricuspid bachcha tri means three cuspid means cusp so there are three cusps that is responsible for passing the deoxygenated blood from right atria into the right ventricle and your left atria receives the oxygenated blood from four openings this is called as pulmonary vein only vein to carry oxygenated blood rest all the vein is going to carry deoxygenated blood so you have this is the left pulmonary vein and from here these two it is called as right pulmonary vein now when the deoxygenated blood passes from the right atria into right ventricle it gets pumped into the lungs so it get pumps into the lungs by the help of pulmonary artery only artery to carry deoxygenated blood and in the pulmonary artery it will go where from pulmonary artery it will travel into the lungs and in the lungs what will happen the deoxygenated blood becomes oxygenated blood and from oxygenated blood it comes into the pulmonary vein your right side you know this one the pulmonary artery is guarded by a valve here can you see a valve now this valve is called as semi lunar pulmonary valve the oxygenated blood from the left atria will enter into the left ventricle again it is guarded by a valve this valve is called as bicuspid valve bi means two cusp means muscles even this bicuspid valve bachcha is called as mitral valve bicuspid valve is also called as mitral valve the oxygenated blood from left atria will enter into the left ventricle through this bicuspid valve and from here the oxygenated blood gets pumped to all part of the body through this most important part that is aorta the aorta is also guarded by a valve you can see a valve here so this valve is called as what it is called as semi lunar aortic valve when you look at the structure which are the left ventricle left ventricle is more thicker and small than the right ventricle 
and the right ventricle is smaller and thinner than the left ventricle. Why it is so? Because the left ventricle pumps the blood all over the body. That's why it becomes one of the important part. Coming to the most important part, you have to remember all the types of valves present in the human heart. Normally, how many valves are there? So, we say total there are six valves present in human heart. Which are those six valves? So, here on the right side, you are going to have a tricuspid valve. Left side, which will be a bicuspid valve. The pulmonary artery ke paas valve hai, isko hum kehte hai, semi lunar pulmonary valve. So, this is an important valve. Hai. The fourth valve that we have to study is the one of the aorta. Because the aorta is also valve guarded. Hai. It is called a semi lunar aortic valve. So, this is the valve. Now, the valve is the valve. Kahan pe aata hai. So, remember one thing on the right atria, your blood comes in the heart through three separate openings. So, this is the opening. Kaun -kaun si hai? एक आप कहते हो सुपीरियर वीना कावा दूसरा आप कहते हो इंफीरियर वीना कावा तीसरा जो होता है वो है कोरोनरी सल्कस अब यहां पे सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बात ये सुपीरियर वीना कावा ब्रिंग्स द ब्लड टुवर्ड्स द ग्रेविटी तो इसको वैल्व की जरूरत नहीं है वेयरएज इंफीरियर वीना कावा ब्रिंग्स द ब्लड अगेंस्ट द ग्रेविटी सो इट रिक्वायर्स अ वैल्व सो देयर इज अ वैल्व प्रेजेंट इन द इंफीरियर वीना कावा दिस वैल्व इज कॉल्ड एज यूस्टेशियन वैल्व इट इज कॉल्ड एज यूस्टेशियन वैल्व और जो कोरोनरी साइनस ब्लड लेके आ रहा है there is also a valve present. This valve is called as Thibetian valve. So, logically, when you read it, you will understand that total there are six valves present in the human heart. The most important part is this part. Right atria or left atria, they are separated by a septum. That septum is called as interatrial septum. So, between left atria and the right atria, there is a partition or a septum. That septum is called as interatrial septum. And when you come to ventricles, mein aajaoge, so in the ventricles also there is a septum. So it is called as interventricular septum. Between the two ventricles there is a septum called as interventricular septum. If you look at this, these are fibers which are attached to the valves. And the valves are elastic in nature. All the valves are elastic. Hai. So these fibers are the valves which open and close. They are called as chordae tendine. This is called as chordae tendine. So these are attached to the walls of the bicuspid, tricuspid and wall of the ventricle. Normally, we draw ventricle like this. But, bachalo, yaad rakho, ventricles has folds. Ye folds ki zarurat kyu padhti hai Just to increase the surface area of the heart so that pumping bhoat easy ho jai. So in folds ko kya kehte hai? These folds are called as columnae carne. Or even isa ek aur naam hai. It is called as trabeculae carne. So columnae carne and trabeculae carne are the two names given to the folds of the ventricles. Now, the most important point is that your pulmonary artery and aorta are attached to one point. Pe, ek ko hai. So, the point where they are attached, this one, we give a name. Dete hai. What is this name called as? It is called as ligamentous arteriosum. It is called as ligamentous arteriosum. Most important point, which can come MCQ, mein hai, if I draw these as atrias, so, between the right atria and the left atria, there is a depression. This depression is called as fossa ovalis. This depression is called as fossa ovalis. Now, what is fossa ovalis? So, we have to understand the important thing that when the baby is in the womb of the mother, when the child is in the womb of the mother, then the right atria and the left atria are in the gap. This gap is called as foramen oval. And this foramen oval in the womb of the mother allows the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. But if the child is born, then this opening is seized. And here is a depression like a nishan. Banta hai. That depression is called as fossa ovalis. If someone has asked one mark, what is fossa ovalis? Then you will say, fossa ovalis is nothing but it is ductus remnant of foramen oval. So foramen oval ka bacha hua part jo hota hai, depression, you say that fossa ovalis. So this is how you can remember the entire structure of human heart in an easy way. Hope you will structure in understand this structure. If you have any doubt, please comment section and ping. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, this is your Sunil sir saying goodbye. Thank you very much.